I think many of you have noticed that chokers and pearl necklaces with chains have become fashionable. The chains on the necklace can be arranged in various ways, but I really like this particular unique style, so I suggest we assemble it today. By the way, I've checked the price of such ready-made jewelry in showrooms. A set of two necklaces costs around 5,000 rubles, which is approximately $50. Isn't it nice that we can assemble it ourselves and not pay such a price? Let's get started. Of course, we'll need chains, which I've already pre-cut into segments. My segments are of various lengths and quite chaotic. I love a certain unpredictability in jewelry. If you want a more formal, structured necklace, you can choose segments of the same length or, for example, a gradient from long to short. Next, we take the wire. Mine has a thickness of 0.35 millimeters. Usually I don't cut the wire off the spool to prevent the beads from sliding off during assembly, but this time I'll cut it since I'll start assembling from the middle of the necklace. So now I'll place the central chain and then I'll assemble pearls, first to its right and then to its left to ensure the necklace is perfectly symmetrical. I'll space out the pearls using two millimeter hematite beads. By the way, mine are in gold and silver colors because I like two-tone jewelry. But let's get back to assembling our jewelry. I'm adding three pearls onto the cord followed by a chain, and then doing the same thing on the other side. And that's it, our necklace is ready. All that's left is to close off the ends, which we'll do now. Take the wire end and slide on a crimp bead, which in my case is 1.5 millimeters in size. Next, we attach a protector to the cord. The protector is used to ensure that the ring to which the cord is attached doesn't wear out the cord. Now feed the wire tip back through the protector and then into the crimp bead. Next, we clamp the crimp with pliers. My pliers have serrations, not smooth. I believe that with these, I can clamp the crimp much more securely. Well, now we hide the wire end under the pearls. Now we repeat the same steps with the other end of the necklace. We slide a crimp onto the other end of the wire, followed by a protector. Then we thread the wire end back through the protector and the crimp. Immediately tuck the wire end into the beads. We'll secure the crimp bead later. Now take the needle nose pliers, grab the wire end protruding from the beads and begin to pull it. As you pull the wire, the beads come closer together. Don't yank the wire abruptly, pull it gently. By the way, this is where these particular needle nose pliers with serrated jaws come in handy as they grip the wire firmly. It doesn't slip out. After you've pulled the wire and all the beads are closely aligned, make sure there are no gaps between the beads and to check if the necklace bends well, meaning we haven't tightened it too much. Only when you're sure everything is fine, proceed to crimp. Once secured, trim off the excess wire. Now, all that's left is to attach the clasp and an extension chain. To achieve this, we first need to open the connecting ring on the clasp, thread it through the protector, and then close it back, thus attaching the clasp to one end of our necklace. We repeat the same process on the other side of the necklace with the extension chain. By the way, speaking of crimp beads, I wanted to mention that mine are so small, at 1.5 millimeters, that they're virtually invisible. Therefore, I won't be adding any covering crimp beads over them. I think it looks even better this way. Look at this beautiful necklace we ended up with. In my opinion, it looks fantastic. You can wear the necklace with another piece. For instance, use this two-tone chain with a pearl. I also crafted this necklace myself not too long ago. And of course, I'll leave a link here. Well then, let's try on and see how these pieces look together. This is how it appears. Remember, I combined a gold and silver chain here and added a tiny pearl. I kept pondering what to pair it with and now we have a perfect set. The chain is understated and succinct, but when paired with this necklace, it creates a layered effect. When we incorporated the chain into this set, I felt it became much more intriguing than just wearing each necklace separately. I believe I'll wear these pieces precisely in this combination. What do you think? Is it better to wear the necklace on its own or as a set? 